How's it going guys? Pens for Friends here with my second ever YouTube video. And in this video I'm gonna take in a little experiment. I'm gonna combine the health bonus of the black box with the health bonus and speed boost of the conqueror. And this is basically the ultimate survivability soldier set because it gives you a lot of easy health just based on the rockets that you hit. So as you can see here, I'm just waiting for some extra health here, because it is obviously a survivability set, and I'm doing my best to do that. Survive. So I just took a couple shots at this spy here. He does get taken out, I believe. Just looking around here. Took some shots at this heavy. He's, he doesn't look very aware, but that's, that's fine. And, uh... Going this way, and I see some action down there. He's there again, and I just finish him off with a rocket there, and I get a nice, smooth 14 health, I believe. And so this, I finally catch that medic who tried to get back to spawn. All right, so I go through the, going through this tunnel here. Well, change my mind. Yeah, we find some shots into their spawn here. Not a lot of action right now. They're pretty locked in. I see this soldier here, and I do manage to finish him off, which is nice. Yeah, all right. Okay, and then I was coming out a little later when the spy got our teleporters. But, anyways, <laughs> he just fell right there. Wow. Tough luck, spy. All right, so I took some shots at this soldier here. And just going to treat a bit because i got to load up my rockets. And that's the other thing about the black box, by the way. You get less rockets. You get one less. And that can be a game changer, depending on how you play it. So you definitely have to play a lot more conservative with your rockets with this loadout. And as you can see, I just took some Jurati there. I'm going to look around to see who it was. But that was... looks like an isolated instant, and I don't take any damage from that Jurati. But I do actually take out that soldier who's trying to retreat back to base. And I pick up this medic as well. And <laughs> that demo man just blew himself to bits. Wow. <laughs> Learned to sticky jump, am I right? Anyways, so our team's doing a pretty good job of holding this defense, even though they did manage to cap on the first point. So I'm just looking here and I see Scout moving out, and so I decide to uh, use my banner without before I die or anything. So, yeah, and I, ooh, gotta get that last rocket out on that demo man. He's probably not too happy about that. And then this pyro's trying to air blast some stuff, and I see this soldier over here. I'm getting kind of low on ammo, so I gotta fall back pretty soon. But I pick up an ammo pack. Now this pyro here, he's looking like he's trying to air blast some stuff, and he misses one. But I do manage to take him out, which is pretty good. Because yeah, I fall back a little bit, but then I get to get shot from that sniper. I actually, take two, and then I see some pills come toward me, so I back out of that. Yeah, all right. So a little later, the cart's moved up a bit, and I've taken some shots here, pushing the cart. Ooh, we take a lot of damage from this pyro here. <laughs> and the lucky rescue ranger bolt takes him out, but this medic's ignoring me a little bit. But he does sort of have a reason, because I am using the ultimate soldier survivalist set. <laughs> I mean, most medics probably aren't a big fan of this set, just because they have less soldiers to heal, and if... And if they were to pocket me, I'd have one less rocket to deal damage with, and that's probably a pain in their, in their behinds as well. And I see some action up here, so I just hop up here, take out that demo man, He's edging the sentry. Let me go around here, see a soldier over there, finish him off. Oh, pretty good. Alright, I noticed my rage bar is full, so I'm probably going to pop that pretty soon. Alright, let's see here. No, I'm just looking over here, checking to see if there's any enemies around. So I know that they've already moved the cart, so this is probably getting behind enemy lines, so I use my Contrator banner. And <laughs> this NG, I missed two rocks, but he tries to hide in the corner and I get him. This Pyro almost got our spy, but I saved him on time. My cart's rolling back, thanks to the good work of our engineer. And fortunately, the su spy survives the fire, which is great. And surprisingly, this medic just popped the on me, so I'm just trying to deal as much damage as I can. Took out one soldier, but then I missed a couple rockets here, and I sort of messed that up. But anyways, I did manage to do some significant damage over here. That medic's trying to get away. <laughs> but I hit this soldier, he gets launched right into the sentry, and... Well, he doesn't last, let's say that, for sure. 
You know, so it came around this way, and I see there's a sentry being built up here, so I should take that out real quick. And I should take out that sentry as well. And then this is really interesting. I take random damage from somewhere, and I just land and destroy that soldier with a croc. Yeah, let's watch that again in slow motion here. Random. I don't know. I don't even know where that comes from. It's some sort of rocket from the enemy, and then I take this guy out randomly. It's probably the like it's like the MVP moment of the day for me. That just made my day. <laughs> soldier wants him to get a haircut. That's funny. All right. Let's see, I use my banner again. All right, moving up. We got silver touch rock. But Max for Health is giving me the edge here. Except this. Ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, that. That demo man did get me. But in the end, we did manage to win, and that was my video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you remember to like, comment, and subscribe.